Now let's make the client to be able to connect to the server using the TCP socket. So I'm going to open the client.py and I'm also going to need of course the socket library so I'm going to import it so import socket socket and I also need to define a host which will be the local host so 127.0.0.1 and the port number which will be the same as the server's port number so Five, uh, six, five, four, three, two. So six, five, four, three, two. And now let's create a socket object on the server side as well. So soc equals socket. And that socket, socket. And let's give it the same argument. So the af underscore inet and the soc stream. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here and the last thing we need to do is actually so we don't need to bind or listen as, as on the server side we just need to connect so for that we are going to use the soc.connect function connect and give it as a tuple the host and the port so let me see now when i run it i should get from the server side this print client is connected so let me try it i opened up the folder and i'm going to run here one command window and also create a second command window and in this one i'm going to run the server so python python server.py and now let me see in the second command window i'm going to run the python client.py and when i press the enter as you can see now in the server side it printed that client is connected so the client is now successfully connected to the server i'm going to close these windows and i'm also going to need here uh, the threading model because to actually receive data from the server we need to use uh, a function which is also a blocking command so to actually prevent the from that function to to block the main thread we are going to also need here uh, on the client side a threading model and also just create the same function as here so i'm just going to copy and paste it so the create thread method or my function and the create thread method here i'm going to define uh, receive data receive underscore data this will receive the data from the server and for now just pass and before we run the game i'm just going to call the create thread with the receive data and don't forget that you don't you want you need to delete these brackets here so receive data without the brackets I'm going to do a separate video for this receive data function because it will take a little bit uh, longer than the other functions also on the server side and also on the client side.